Today we're going thrifting at the Goodwill store. I'm taking you on a hunt for Christmas decor, budget-friendly items that won't break the bank. And then I'm gonna show you what I bought in my styled thrifting haul. everyone and welcome my name's Lisa I'm so glad that you joined me today as we are thrifting for Christmas decor whether you love thrifting it's the thrill of the hunt or you are on a tight budget thrifting is a great way to have beautiful Christmas decor in this upcoming season I am going to start you here in the dinnerware this is a great item to thrift but I will caution you Goodwill sometimes is pricey. I saw some really cute mugs similar to this Santa and snowman at Dollar Tree for a much better price. So knowing that is also good when you're thrifting so that you don't overpay. Now, I know there's mixed opinions on Goodwill, but where I live, I have limited options. So the Goodwill is really my main source of thrifting other than garage sales and estate sales. Thrifting is a fun hobby for me. I love finding unique and special pieces. Always check for damage like this plate has a chip on it, but you can generally find great household items, especially dinnerware. The prices are reasonable. Sometimes they are priced individually and sometimes in sets. I have seen some really beautiful china and dinnerware, full complete sets in pristine condition. So if you're looking to add a special Special piece here and there to your Christmas dinnerware or if you're wanting project dinnerware for DIYs or a full set check out your local thrift stores go back often that's part of it you have to go back a lot you never know when they're gonna put new merchandise out Red is such a traditional Christmas color and you can add these pieces in so easy. Plus you can use them for other holidays like Valentine's Day or in everyday decor. Add a little miniature wreath on the front of this canister to dress it up. This is actually a really good brand so don't skip on the thrift store. You can find some really good deals here. I liked this planter. It's a little more of a burgundy red color but I think a little artificial Christmas tree would be so cute in here and this red and silver hurricane mm -hmm. vase you could put a candle in this or make a little Christmas floral arrangement that would be pretty this red canister would look nice with that red spoon rest by your stovetop with all your utensils in it one thing I always look at when I'm at the thrift store and suggest that you peruse it when you're there as well is baskets. This time of year you can find all kinds of red and green baskets, but they always have a plethora of just regular wicker baskets, metal baskets, all different textures and appearances, sizes, shapes. The prices are usually pretty good on these. Some, I don't know who prices it some days and they get crazy wild. With, <laughs> with marking it up. But for the most part, these were just a couple of dollars. You can make these over and it's so easy to sanitize and clean them. You can either wipe them down with a Lysol wipe or spray them with Clorox. Be careful with that just because it can cause spotting on your basket. If they're super dusty, you can get a can of compressed air and blow them off and that usually gets them cleaned right up. I have also given them a quick spray with the garden hose and let them dry out in the sun and that works as well. These are great to just add around your home for pine cones, for florals, little decorations on shelves, so many options with baskets. I think they're also great to switch out little artificial trees and put them in these baskets for a unique and special look. On this particular day, they did not have many table linens or soft goods like blankets that were Christmas themed, but I did find this one table runner and it was really pretty. So always check there when you're looking for Christmas decor at the thrift store. 
I did find, however, this bag of fabric remnants for $3.99. So if you need Christmas fabric for a project, this would be a considerable savings. I saw this next item and added it to my shopping cart. Again, I think it will be really pretty to put an artificial tree in, elevating the look of it, and then I can use it in the spring for that decor as well. I recently saw an inspiration picture where a bunch of mirrors were layered, so when I saw this mirror on the very top shelf here at Goodwill, I grabbed it so that I can make over the frame. It's a little bright gold for me, but I can use it for a layering piece as I collect more mirrors. When you're thinking of doing Christmas DIY projects, check your local thrift store. I saw this round wooden piece new in package and thought you could use this for a tray on your counter or table. And this unfinished wood door, I have visions that you could paint this, stain this, add feet or handles, and you could have a serving tray. And why am I showing you this random desktop that is missing the base? Because when I saw I saw a fireplace mantle. Not everyone has blessed with a fireplace and you could totally recreate this, paint this, decorate it up, build it out, and you could have a mantle to dress up and hang your stockings on. Don't look at an item and see it for what it is. Look at it and think about what it could be. Keep an eye out for candles when you can find them in good condition like these tea lights. It can be considerable savings over what you buy them new in the store. Something else I always like to look at when I am shopping at the thrift store is florals. They come in a wide assortment of options, some better than others, but right now I am seeing a lot of Christmas florals. Not everything in the bunch of flowers like you see here you may want to use for this season but you can pick it apart and it is still cheaper than what you find at Hobby Lobby. These stems were originally $11.99 and you can see the whole bundle of them was $2.99. Now the orange ones aren't for Christmas but I will put those back and use them for fall or in the spring. It is definitely worth the savings. And if you're wanting just part of an arrangement like this grapevine wreath, pull it apart and then add your own florals to it or just fluff it out and use it as is. So many options and so many great savings. You can again use that compressed air to blow these off and dust them or you can just run them under water and let them air dry. I have done this for many, many years and they clean up wonderfully like this. I even do this around my own home to my own florals to keep them clean and dust free. This little gold tinsel tree was a great find. It was only a few dollars and look at this two huge Christmas trees I don't know if the lights worked but if you're looking for a Christmas tree check out your thrift store you can always string on your own lights if shopping with me at the thrift store didn't make you a believer in thrifting, then maybe these thrift finds and how I style them for Christmas will. This first item I'm sharing is wall art originally from Hobby Lobby. I got it for $12.99. I taped up the holes in the ba paper backing just to keep dust out of the inside, but it, otherwise on the front and the frame, it was in pristine condition. So I can only imagine what this was originally priced at at Hobby Lobby. It may not scream Christmas decor to you, but it is very reminiscent of snowy winter days and is going to look perfect here in my dining room with my estate sale find gold lamp. This lamp was originally marked $40, but I got it on half price day. A lot of our estate sales in my town do half price on the last day of the sale. So I only paid $20 for this. It was plugged in with light bulbs, so I knew it worked. But isn't it beautiful? And both of them styled here together in my dining room make a perfect statement for the upcoming Christmas season. 
One thing I was on the hunt for as I looked around at thrift stores, estate sales, and garage sales this fall were little tiny brass pots like this. I envision putting my many, many artificial trees in these. I have a big collection of little tiny trees. This is going to elevate them and make them look high end. I know I overpaid for some of these little uh, pots, but they're hard to come by. I will say if you have something in mind that you're looking for, it will pop out at you more. So I did snag these when I saw them. Again, as soon as I get all of my trees out of storage, I'm going to be able to put them in these little pots. Brass and gold are very popular this holiday season, and it's very popular to use in your home. So I will be able to carry these over from Christmas into my regular home decor. I also love that they are unique and special. This one I got from an estate sale and it has a little story on here. The previous owner put when and where they got it from and I just love that. These will polish up with a little brasso if you want to do that. I don't mind the patina on these. I think it makes them look worn and vintage and I really think that is a special Special look here at Christmas but I have no doubt that these would polish up and look brand new again with just a little bit of elbow grease the detailing on this is just fabulous they don't make stuff like this anymore and I'm just really excited to have these pieces and incorporate them into my Christmas decorating this year <music> Much like the little brass pots, I got these next three items for my smaller artificial trees so that I could give them a more elevated high-end look. I am going to make over a couple of these. haven't decided on this one yet. I showed you in our shopping portion of the video where I found it. It was $5.99 as well as this urn. It was $2.99. I think I like the black urn as is. I, like I said, I'm still on the fence about that burgundy red planter. But I have some trees of differing sizes that will fit really nicely in these. Now this planter or pot, I don't know exactly what it would be technically. It was $4.99 and I do plan to make this over. I am going to paint it and give it some texture so that I can use it at Christmas but then also throughout the rest of the year. I found some really great vintage art and artwork. Uh, this little embroidery needle point was so pretty. The detailing was just absolutely wonderful. I love that the back is marked and it has the date from 1956. The paper is deteriorating. You can tell it is old. I think this was a kit that you could purchase and make back in the day because I found these two exact pictures on eBay. A very special find and I paid $8 for it. This next vintage print I paid $10 for at an estate sale. It just needed a little bit of cleaning up. There was some rippling in the print from water damage, but that is okay. It is just a picture that somebody cut out of a magazine and framed a reproduction of a very popular print from its time. I thought the aesthetic was beautiful. This will carry over into the winter months as well. And you can see the two pieces here together, how nice they look. I cannot wait to show you how I'm going to fully style these in my upcoming Decorate With Me videos. So make sure you're subscribed and that notification bell is turned on. This oil painting of a winter scene was from an estate sale. I got it on half price day and paid $20. It was originally $40. I am going to make over this frame. It is a little dated and can use some TLC. So this is another one of those projects I will be doing for you in an upcoming video. But I wanted to share it here in this thrift haul. I am so excited that I was able to rescue this oil painting it was signed and dated 1996. I am going to breathe new life into it and give it a new home. 
This was rusty and crusty and covered in dust. You have to look past that sometimes. I paid $16 for this knowing that I was going to throw the greenery away and the candles, clean him up. This was just hot glue that was keeping the candles on and it just popped up. Very easy to give him a scrubbing down and reviving him. While I was doing that, I took the opportunity to clean that bundle of thrifted berries that I got from Goodwill. Both of them cleaned up beautifully and I was able to add them to some existing greenery I already had. Styled them here for you with my Hobby Lobby flocked ornaments that I shared with you in a previous video. On the little reindeer, I added a velvet ribbon around his neck and then I put new ivory colored candles in him and he's beautiful now. I am just so excited that I found him. I love this vintage rustic feel of him. Just like this distressed iron wreath holder, it adjusts up and down and you hang a wreath from it. I paid $4 for it at a garage sale. And again, another piece of home decor that I can use well beyond Christmas. You could bend these little hooks and display bells. You could hang pictures from this if you bent them and made them the right angle. So many options, but it looks so cute here though with this miniature wreath I had. I just put some velvet ribbon on it and some bells. My next two thrifted finds are these brass candle holders. This one was $6.50 from an estate sale. I liked the finger hold that was on this one, very vintage feeling. And then the smaller brass candlestick, I got it for $4.50 from an estate sale as well. I like that they don't match and then together they're going to make a beautiful statement along with all my other brass candlesticks I have collected over the years. I have a love for vintage and antique books. They are just so unique and special. I found this one at a garage sale for $1 and look how beautiful the cover is. They just don't make books like this anymore. This is copyrighted from 1925, and it is actually an equipment order book, like a catalog back in the day. It is not only beautiful, but it is a piece of history at almost 100 years old. And look how beautiful it is with those candlesticks and all of the brass accents I will be using this Christmas. So pretty. I think it is all coming together. You can see I added in my battery powered candlesticks here. The vision I have of an antique vintage Christmas mixed in with all my new decor makes it just feel cozy and inviting. I hope that this has given you a lot of really good ideas so far. Remember that mirror that I thrifted at Goodwill? It looked a little old and dated. The first thing I'm going to do is repair that dust cover on the back. That just helps to keep your mirror sealed so that dust does not get in behind there. It also is just a cleaner, nicer finish. Very easy to do with some brown craft paper. I got my brown craft paper at Dollar Tree. You can find it at Walmart as well. I cut away the old torn paper and now I'm just using some stick glue to put down my new clean craft paper to seal that mirror in. Then I'm going to take this Waverly Antiquing Wax and a wax applicator brush. I'm just going to apply this over the mirror after I have cleaned it really well, making sure it doesn't have any oil or grease or residue on it. I want the brush strokes to kind of be there, so I'm not worried about that. If you have any excess antiquing wax, then you can remove that with a lint-free cloth. Once it has dried for 24 hours, then you can buff this antiquing wax, but you can see how it knocks back that bright gold color, making this just a softer, more muted gold mirror. 
Another little treasure I found was this $6.50 candle snuffer. It was very unique with a wooden handle and then the gold snuffer at the end. It is the perfect accent for my Christmas decor and beyond. It needs a little cleaning up. I just took a lighter and melted that wax right off. I just love nutcrackers and have a large collection of them. I found these two little cuties at an estate sale for $5 each. They are in very good condition for the age of them. They are numbered and part of a collection. I did find them listed online for a considerable amount more than what I paid for them. Not that I would sell them. They are going to be treasures that I add to my Nutcracker collection this year. And here is your look at all those last pieces styled together for Christmas. I am layering that gold mirror I made over in the DIY with that ice skating vintage print. And then I have my candlesticks and Nutcrackers and my candle snuffer. You can see how nice it cleaned up. It looks as good as new but still has that old vintage feel to it. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I hope you had fun thrifting and shopping with me, as well as styling all of the treasures I brought home for Christmas 2023. If you haven't already, I always appreciate that thumbs up and I invite you to subscribe ring that notification bell so you can come back for all of the Christmas content I have coming your way. Until I see you in that next video, I hope you have a wonderful and blessed day. I look forward to seeing you on here again real soon.